Hello everyone, Cyber Dragon here. This is what a decky was Bra King Bradley part eleven. I'm a little uncertain about that, but still. Uh, I am finally done with school for about a month and a half, so I will be trying to post more often. But with Christmas like right around next week, and me still needing to record a meta special. Yeah, you all were getting the new meta special on Christmas. Uh, happy early Christmas present. I'll be posting more about that. Uh, I'm going to be also... I'm not going to say too much, actually, so... But, let's uh, begin. Last part, we had the sports festival. And, well, now we are in... The classroom with everyone waiting as Azara walks in. Alright, everyone. So, first, congratulations on the sports festival. You all did great, and congratulations, Bradley, on winning. Thank you, Azara. But the others did fine as well. Oh, really now? Except you, whore. Damn, he's even being. He's not even being polite anymore. Right, well, next up is for all of you for your internships. The sports festival was a show of case of all your skills and the heroes to watch. You have sent offers for internships. Here's the results now. As I will press a button and the numbers comes up. Bradley comes in first by a huge amount. Shoto Todoroki second, Bakugo third, and everyone else less than in canon because of what happened. Bradley came in first with every hero in Japan wanting him. Even a few in international heroes gave him offers. Even out, even to our surprise. Now you all have some time to pick your, the internships. So you, may you so choose carefully for the next and to the next task. Picking your hero name since I'm not that good. Another teacher has so come to look over them. As midnight walks in, well, this will be a pleasant surprise. Okay, take over my class while I nap. As he goes to sleep. Right, well, heroes, everyone, I'll be taking your hero names and approving them. So, everyone think about it because that's what you will be called by for the rest of your hero careers. So, everyone picks their canon names. But when it came to Deku, Deku really had no fucking clue what to use for a hero name. So we, as he's thinking, a flashback memory of when, of him and Midnight sparring. Him, she calling him King Bradley. As Deku raises his hand after writing it down. Hmm? Oh, you got your name, Izuku? Yes, I do. As he walks forward, okay, present your name. I've chosen the sword hero, King Bradley. Oh, you chose my name I gave you. Yes, I figured you would like it. As someone in class. Wait, why did she give you that name? King Bradley. Insert sex joke. Well, I won't go into full details, but let's say he had, he was dominating like a kid. No more of you, as he covers Midnight's mouth. <laughs> so, no, keep talking, as Min. Netta is just drooling on the floor at this point. 
as Deku just looks at Mineta with a death stare. <laughs> huh? Nereri, please stop. I know you don't really have that much shame, but I really don't need my clad beating off to your descriptions right now. As Midnight removes his hand. I said you can go back to your seat now, dear. If we don't continue... Continue with... Airy... If we don't continue, Airy will... As Airy comes in. And we what, Mama? What the hell? How did she get in here? Mama brought me. No, I didn't. I gave you a babysitter. Where is she? Flashback to an airy trick Nidre into playing hide and seek and her getting into the car. Sleeping. As Zekisha looks at midnight. Don't look at me like that. I thought she would be good. She's your daughter too. How did you get to UA? I don't know. Harry Bradley, tell me how you got to UA. Okay, but can you tell me what those noises are? Can you tell me what those noises in your guys' bedroom are at night? I think I heard mom uh, a lot out there. Sparring. Oh, okay then. I'll take her home, and you have a good day. As Midnight kisses Deku's cheek and picks up Aerie to leave. Um, okay, well, pick your internships while I sleep. Didn't he just sleep? Didn't he just get kicked in the face? No? What? Then shut it before that happens. Okay, that was Denki who was talking, so... Denki just looks at his options. Hmm, this should be fun. But that's when Ujiko called. <sighs> Miss Oizawa, I need to take this. Don't care. Need sleep. Hmm, well... Very well then. As Deku heads out, he picks up the phone and answers it. Yes? Did you get your internships yet, Bradley? Yes, we got them today, sir. Sir. I'm actually looking forward to deciding. Sorry, but that's not happening. Shikaraki wants the hero killer dead. And he's in Hosu. Wasn't Stain meant to join the league? Yes, but negotiations with South Fast. So pick a hero in Hosu. We will make the distraction so you can clear. Got it? Understood. Huh. Can't they? Can't that incompetent fool Shikaraki do anything right? Not sure, but if you do this, we will not need you for some time at least. Ujiko out. As Deku is just clenching his fist until it bleeds. Take my choices away. As Deku just walks back in, Deal with his and bloody hand. Everyone notices. Bro, you you good? Your hand is bleeding. Hmm. Oh yes, I'm fine. Slipped and cut myself with my sword. It happens time to time. Some people accept that answer, but except for Momo, Aizawa, Todoroki, and Bakugo. 
Well, make your decision fast and go to recovery girl. Hmm. I'll pick manual. Says it in an irritating tone. While everyone caught that. You sure? I mean, you sound upset about it. Yes, I'm sure. After all, it's my choice. Right, well, go to recovery girl and then you can go home for the day. Deku walks out. Something's up, but what? Deku went to recovery girl, but Azara went to see her after Deku was checked for her cut. Air quotes, air quotes. How was he, recovery girl? Oh, Bradley? He's fine. I should have told him not to clench his fists so tight next time. He needs to learn his own strength. Wait, so he didn't cut himself with his sword? Hmm? No, why? <sighs> That's what he told the class to me. Something is up with him. Hmm, well, Bradley does hide his emotions. And feelings a lot. Only person who really knows is him is his Midnight. Even then, she doesn't even. She knows very little about his past. Yes, that it, that concerns me. I can. I do think I can simply. I don't think I can simply ask her to keep an eye on him without her saying it something. So I'll have to do it myself when there's a staff. Alright. Well. Shoot, I forgot to ask Bradley something. What was that? Well, when I did his physical and I told him I needed a blood sample, I tested him and found some, his blood very odd. How so? When I tested it, I found components in it. At first, I thought maybe drugs, but this is very different. Hmm, maybe I should ask him later to see when he returns from his internships. Right. So, when Deku got back home, they found Nidre frantically looking for Eri. And, well... Let's say they were not pleased with the slightest. So, she went home, and when Midnight asked what they could choose for an internship, she was very shocked to find out it was manual. As with anyone. He said he had saw how Ido was acting and which worried him. As a made-up excuse. So she accepted that, seeing... Maybe he's just concerned about a friend. Now, the next day, Deku went to Manual. As he's walking into the agency. Wow, I can't believe I got the win of the sports festival here at my agency. Deku hides his annoyance. Yes, well, my daughter is a fan of yours, and... There isn't any heroes who do anything with swords, so I figured my skills are best used out on the field. Well, I'm glad you came here, so, so let's start our patrol. And maybe I'll give your daughter an autograph, too. That would be appreciated. So, they go on patrol, and Ida is... Definitely on his best behavior because of Deku. For the time being. In, well... Two days later... The Nomus attack. As the distractions, of course. While Deku can deal with Stain undisturbed so 
but not knowing that Ida had the same idea beforehand. Deku is walking around and then he can just hear screams of pain. So he runs to the sound and runs into the alley seeing Ita and Native. Stain was about to stab Ida. Hello, Stain. Huh? Another kid here. But Bradley? Shut her, Ida. Now Stain, I recommend you get off of him. What about you make me? I'm purging him here. Now, how about we make this quick? I have a wife and kid at home, and I would like to re rather return to them than do this. Huh? As Deku starts approaching him. Now, I should tell you, 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 them, they send me there. Ah, right, fuck. Hold on. I should tell you, they send their regards. As Deku bolts at Stain, rushes at Stain so fast that he came and react, and properly, and Deku slashes Stain's chest. Then Stain, a uh, Deku stabs Stain in the leg, driving his other sword through his torso. Ah. Pathetic. As Dane coughed up blood and drops dead on the ground. Anita was nonetheless shocked about this. Well, now then. Are you alright, Ida? Y you killed him. So? It was all in self defense. And last time I checked, weren't you the one who was trying to kill him first? I, 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 shut it. I did what I did to save you, Native, and myself. Now, I call for medical attention and more heroes, and I want to go home to see my family. Now, do you have any objections, Ita? Ida doesn't say a thing and is now low key scared of Bradley. Good. Now, he's dead. The effects of his quirk should be wear off in a minute. Then, the heroes and police came and Midnight is with them. Due to her seeing Hosu under attack, she thought she could support the heroes, but Endeavor and Grand Trina took care of the Nomus, so she went with the other heroes to help take down Stain, but when they got there, they saw Deku, Native, and Ida all there with Stain's dead body, so, with sword piercing into it. Shit. Nimira. Okay, okay. I have a valid reason. Let's just hope she understands. And when Midnight sees Stain's dead body, she quickly understood Deku killed Stain. I Izuku, what happened? I killed him to save Ida and Native. What? Wait, what you mean? What? What do you mean? Why was kid there? I didn't know, but I had heard a scream of pain and I ran as fast as I could. And I saw Stain standing over Ida, about to kill him. I did what I had to do. It was the only way. So, as he looks down in quote-unquote shame, as Midnight just hugs him. I'm sorry. As Deku hugs back, I'm just glad you're safe. Now, come on. We need to get home to you, Aerie. Your internship is over because of what just happened. Very well. Are you okay with... You just killed him. I don't know. 
I'm very well. I'm very well. Am- As that's what his thoughts are. But I don't want to think about it anymore. As he drops his sword. Midnight picks it up and just hugs him again. Come on. Let's get you home. Get you in a hot bath in bed then. And then we can just try to forget this happened. <sighs> Thank you, Nimira. I hate to lie to you like this, but it's for your safety. After that, Ida was taken to the hospital and Stain was taken to the morgue. While Deku was told he couldn't have the credit for taking out Stain, and that's because of the circumstance, he wouldn't have been in trouble for what he's done. As we cut to a few days after with with UA with Recovery Girl calling as our down. Yes, Recovery Girl. Sit down. I need to show you something. As as our does. So I used the blood I got from Bradley and I got the component and I found in his blood it took hours of filtering but I managed to get all the compounds as she just holds up a le- uh, vial of red liquid okay now I need to show you what show you this as she grabs a little rab- la- rat from a cage as she also grabs a syringe and injects it with the red liquid into the rat as she quickly puts the rat in the cage. As the rat starts to spark with red lightning, and then it starts to get ripped apart and put back together over and over again until the rat explodes. Oh, holy shit! Yes, and that was my reaction when I first tested it. So, you think it. Reacted to Bradley's quirk then? I think so. Well, just keep doing tests. Maybe see what his quirk is. It's, uh, about his blood. Mm, yes, I think it's the all seeing eye is his quirk. Yes, if it is. Yes, but if. It can do that, then there's more than he's laying on. I agree. Good. Keep this on the wraps. So, until we get hold of solid evidence. Who knows where this can go. Just us. I I recommend you tell no one. Just keep this between us. No one... Because one slip up at midnight will tell some might find out, and I don't think she would like us testing on her husband without her knowledge. Yes, I agree. I'll keep an eye on him. Very well. End. Okay, guys, that was Bradley. Part. 11? Question mark? Still kind of confused about that, but still. I hope you guys at least enjoyed this part. And I'll see you all next time. Cyber Dragon out.